Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Novaya Russia, the Dictatorship of Some Robot. I'm the Mysterious JG. Uh, it does look like these, uh... It seems like we kind of... Well, hey, it seems like my, uh... My actual, um... Actual recording came out okay. I didn't really notice that the visuals looked a little darker and muddier than usual, but, uh... Seems like, yeah, like it didn't burn through all my battery. Everything seemed to work out okay. Oh, that's right. Gre so, Grigo the second won't join. Um... So let's have Grigor, let's have the bodyguards hang out down here. Obviously, actually his officer should come too, although... Like, it's not necessary to get all of these things, but I'm kind of curious how much damage we can do. For the people, Comrade. for the people, sir, yes, sir. Comrade, for the motherland. Standing by, sir, yes, sir. Awaiting orders by your command. They don't seem to be all that bothered about this. I wonder if we're supposed to get some better siege stuff. They're not responding to it like they uh, feel like they're in any danger anyway. Oh, I didn't set a new timer. I should set a new timer. Okay, well, yeah. So we do have a pop limit that we hit. So I think that's why we're hitting these uh, garrisons and they're just giving us nothing now. Yeah, there we go. Here's the thing, is to, to keep an eye out for more interesting garrisons. These are... So some of these are just giving us regular infantry, which is not really that exciting. I don't want to advance these guys too far and, and be missing plot while we're... I'm dealing with a big old group of traitor, traitors using just the... just the starting force here. Trying to get rid of buildings in case they use them to produce. I don't know that they do. May be a bit of a non mission, actually. Are you. Healing because you're here? Okay, but it's very slow. For the people. For the people. This seems to be kind of unlosable. I want to, uh... 
see the most interesting content that I can here. I'm not really committed to playing the, uh, the expansion for this game, or any of the sequels. It's ever just a, a big death ball of infantry with some, uh... So you don't want, don't want to interact with this before I lose anybody. Hitting all the garrisons, I don't think it's really doing anything for us until I lose some of this death ball. I think I'm just gonna have uh sir, yes, sir. Waiting orders. Instead you guys fight until you're dead. Kill as much as you can and then die. This is obviously not the right way to do this, but... Alright, so we've got our group back together. Uh, we did some damage in that central base. We really don't want to lose this guy. He's like his survival isn't a victory condition, but I don't know when we'll get another one of these guys. Awaiting orders. By your command. So unless we find out that these are like we have yet to have a garrison actually turn on us. We've just had some of them. We just had some of them give us uh, nothing. My men and I still support Navaya Russia and its rightful rulers. Some crazy dictator and a robot. <laughs> oh, so we got a new officer out of this garrison? That's cool. For the motherland, comrade. For the people. Awaiting order. Comrade. For the motherland. Commander, I demand that your troops be turned over to me immediately. General Yukov ordered our factory shut down before we knew he was a traitor. But Did I am just some dude with my hands in my you. pockets, so that's cool. Oh, now the traitors have their own robot warriors, huh? I mean, I guess it makes sense. We never quite got a... Hey, Apollo. He's this ion pulse and diffraction shield. Great. Gonna introduce spellcasters at this stage of the game.
All right, so it looks like Apollo's tip the kill Apollo, take that big robot, shove up his ass. Is that Apollo? No, that's not Apollo. God, who is that? Um, some robot jocks. Uh, Achilles. Yeah, Achilles can take that big robot and shove it up his ass. My mistake. Um, no, we didn't really get as many of these guys. We got a different mix of units for sure. Black Robe officers still seen better days, but uh but now they got two black rob black robe officers, can't they heal each other? Yeah. Always standing right next to a hospital anyway. All right, so now we can probably safely hit the rest of these. Oh, there'll be something cool up here. So let's fight off whoever's defending it, and then the last one is just generic troops. And then we can go in and, yeah, I mean, I'm thinking... We took out a pretty big chunk of the base already. Do we want to besiege it from another side where it's fully operational, or...? Try to be a little more strategic about it? I don't know. But, like, I intentionally threw away a bunch of troops just so we could see more of what's going on, you know? That wasn't really a valid strategy. I'm thinking these traitor uh, patrols just appear and move around. Oh, this big, base is a little bigger than I thought it was. Then I, I figured the walls were like right there. If any here are still truly loyal to the motherland, Thor it is time to serve her in her moment of need. General Yukov had our supplies of ammunition rerouted, but we have enough left to equip a few units. Cool beans. We visited every garrison in the city. Okay. It is time to teach these traitors a lesson. I hope that these loyal followers are enough. All right. Well, we did get a few points for that, and I may come to regret this, but I'm really in like cybers are like yeah, I guess it's fun, and this is the only time we get to play with them. But I know, I know a plot twist and a thing that's coming where we're going to have to not be able to use cybers at the very end. So that's why I'm kind of like, what can I do with infantry? And, uh... Making them cheaper is probably the wisest thing to do on macro maps. Uh, let me hold on to the points for now. I, I certainly don't think we need them to win this. So there was a, so there was a garrison up here, but I think they're just like, no, you've hit enough garrisons, JG, hurry up. It is now time to attack the fortress. No additional troops will be available. Okay. I think maybe hitting... Maybe these other uh, barracks were just... Like, the generic troop barracks are just Commander, that. It is I, Grigor Stoyanovich. And they just kind of wanted you to hit the, the neat ones. Like, the robot one, the once. tank one. And... I'm sorry, sir. My men have regretfully abandoned their post to join the traitors. And our flybot is uh, exploring nicely. Uh, clicking on that thing will prove costly. Grigor's attack is slow and annoying. It's like big swinging missiles with like. All right, so we're not very well organized here, but um, K 
Can we get everybody into one big group? Okay. Smart thing to do is rather than like opening up the whole base, <coughs> like let's go into the side of the base that we already broke down. We already took out some production buildings, even though I'm not sure production buildings do anything. But we can come back through here and uh, you know, we've dealt with some of the interior towers already, right? Kind of skirt the edge of it along here. Commander, oh, we completely missed this, sir. Uh... Grigor Stoyanovich. Nope. I demand that your forces be placed under my command at once. Nope. I'm sorry, sir. My men have regretfully abandoned their posts to join the traitors. Oh, well, I mean, so they've taken new posts in the traitor army. Don't don't claim like it's not a laziness that they're not doing it. You know. Well. I guess over here, get this wall too. It didn't really seem like they came out and did too much to, um... You guys are gonna be in range of the stupid... Why isn't anyone else helping this guy? So it would appear that the Thor anti-tank guns or whatever are terrible against uh, infantry. Bear that in mind. Unit improvements are not allowed. Alright, I'm still getting the most enjoyment out of my uh, robo friends. Or uh, infantry, yeah. Yeah. Murder machine guys. And I'm just not going to be ever that familiar with the spellcasters, it seems like. So are they marching around to come over here, or <laughs> Got a Paladin cannon that decided it doesn't need to get involved. Duh. Duh. What's up? So I like that that patrol came around here and out through this gate that we already opened up. They're not going to open their own gates. I mean, come on, be silly. So I just keep my uh, infantry available for uh, for firing on uh, any guys that actually uh, interrupt. What am I actually doing? I mean, I know I have to attack the city. The traitor's fortress. Oh, well, I mean, we've already seen the fortress. It's like right freaking there. So this may be one of those where I've made an entire meal out of what was supposed to be a pretty simple mission, but um...
Hey, the power came back on. That's just as well. Anybody's attacking that production building, get back to it. Yeah, get on it, attacking the tower. I think we are about to win here. I think defeating the fortress is all that's actually required. Come out, you cowards! Or do you great leaders send only lesser men to do your dirty work? Uh -huh. You got a point. This guy's making like robots be your like future warrior dictators. Uh, you could be attacking. Well, these are like enemy hero units. They're pretty tough. Admiral Kulenka is like dressed as a reporter, but he's uh pretty powerful. Those who would seek to betray you are dead, my master. And now you die. <laughs> yes. But... Uh, the new pacemaker sucks! Sir, are you alright? No, my devoted young lieutenant. My age and the strain of dealing with these traitors has... Oh, come on! I went and did the mission to make him not be much. dead, and now you're making him be dead? No Even fair! With the doctor's medical device. Remember... Nova Yerasha, above all, do not let the dream... My dream of thy I fetish boots. No. <laughs> but I'm glowing with healing power, Master. Why are you not healing? Rest easy, my Master. I will ensure your dreams do not die here with you. Now, flush him down the toilet in traditional goldfish burial. What? <laughs> Traitors, Moscow, and traitors have all been defeated. And, and yeah, as you can see. I'm pretty sure, pretty, pretty, pretty sure that the uh, enemy uh, patrols, like the purple patrols wandering around, I think they just generate, they just spontaneously generate. They didn't appear to have buildings. Who did I leave by? Did I leave that little flying guy behind? Did I forget about him? Yes. Forget Cosmo here. The uh, Autobot who's built on a Soviet technology. No, I forgot about Cosmo. Yeah, which would make uh, Apollo, uh, aka Cosmo, would be uh, a good uh, Novaya Russia character. So you would see Transformer with a Russian accent who is based on uh, Sputnik. <laughs> or rather, his, his design was based on being kind of Sputnik esque. Okay, now my computer is acting sluggish, which it hadn't been, but now that the power's back on. It is, it is acting really sluggish here. All right. Not sure what the issue is. Like, it just now suddenly got sluggish. And my screen got brighter, and it probably isn't any different for you. And now suddenly it's not sluggish anymore. I don't know what was going on there. Yeah, but I mean, the, the towers... Like, I don't know if troops were... Like, th this game, I don't feel like follows StarCraft, StarCraft 2, and also Warcraft. Like, a lot of other RTSs, they may have a lot of pre-placed units on the map, but they basically follow the rules. If you take down their production structures, they stop being able to fight. I don't know if Empire Earth even works that way. I have definitely read, uh, people have said, oh yeah, the AI cheats in the, f like, units are free for it. You will see workers... Uh, for the AI faction, but they don't actually, like, it's not doing anything that they appear to be collecting resources. Like, they just get to build stuff. Um, having said, the, the the campaign in Empire Earth isn't really that challenging. Like, I like it because it's fun and it's got story. It's it's kind of a chill RTS most of the time. But, um, yeah, it does make these bait. It's like, it's not that satisfying to crack a base where you're like, I don't know if it meant, like, I, I did what I thought would be the strategy. Oh, well. We're getting replacement troops, but there's going to come a point where we can't get replacement troops anymore. So let's throw some guys in here before we hit our pop cap uh, and do some damage. But, like, I don't know that that did anything. The only thing that probably made a difference is the towers they destroyed. Because the 
I think the groups of infantry and tanks that just appeared to defend just appear when you attack. And those purple uh, groups come through, the purple guys, not Sunny D, they would just come through periodically. And yeah. So that was a fun little dungeon crawl, but uh, that's it for Gregor. Grigor, we know he's done. So that is what it is. I'm going to have to do some editing here. Novaya Russia, the, uh... Moscow had a hero count of two. We had a hero count of five. Because we were Novaya Russia, right? Well, here's where you'll be able to tell. Yeah, so we were Novaya Russia because of our, um... We're the only ones who got credit for hotkeys. So the score screen is a standardized thing that works in random map, or I suppose back in the day. It would have worked if you played another human player on network, which I, I think was supported at some point in this. Um, yeah, but trader, a yeah, purple traders group. See, we got purple stuff and yellow. So we got sunny D traders and purple stuff traders. The sunny D traders were the ones who actually had buildings and were basically the interior base and the purple stuff traders. I. Almost positive. Well, it says army size 100, so it may be... Hold on, let's see. Did they ever, like, spike up? No! This was just an arm... This is just armies wandering the map. It looks like we missed a few somewhere. Uh, this force, on the other hand, did look like it generated new guys. So maybe they had a small... And the AI was set to just not do very much. There's a little small group of uh, guys that we attacked, and we took a few of them out, but mostly we just took out buildings and towers. And then they kind of built up a little bit, and they came back down, like... I, none of this is actually making any sense to me now to look at it. But you see, you see, our pop dropped down to nothing when I let everybody except for our heroes. Two tanks. I meant to save all three, but I only saved two tanks and an officer. And everyone else I just threw into the this fight. And then we came back and we never quite got all the way back up to tippy top pop. Because when we hit all of the... It's more than just an infantry barracks. Barracks Then we got the message saying, oh, never mind. You don't get to do barracks anymore. All right. So Moscow lost the fewest units because it didn't actually have units. It was just a blue map. Or blue buildings on the map. All right. Well, next time, folks, it's Jewel in the East. Um, which I would assume is Grigor II as the new... And now the, the picture's making more sense. If you've been wondering since Jump... This is the dictator of Novaya Russia, a giant warm, like a freaking Gundam with uh, AI and sentience has become the dictator of a country. And these black robes with machine guns are its fanatical servants. And I think Jewel in the East is probably going to be... Now with Grigor dead, Grigor II, uh, <laughs> fucking robot is going to be trying to take over Asia, I would assume. But uh, 